Hi, I'm a free to play player and I want to invest in Kira. Do not invest in Kira if you are free to play player. I repeat again, do not invest in Kira if you are a free to play player. You are making a big mistake if you are investing in her. I can give you five reasons why. Um, number one, his story of Lilith fucking shit up. Uh, I know nobody has her max yet and nobody knows how good she can actually be. Let's say if she will be really amazing, what would happen? Uh, let me teach you some uh, history lesson. Uh, let's look at Joan de Vark, her four skills. So when the game just released, her four skills used to be 25% damage reductions. But she was so good, she was better than most of the legendary commander back then. Uh, she was nerfed by Linus. Um, and, they, and the worst of all, they didn't give us any compensation at all. So, guess what would happen if Kira turned out to be really good? They wouldn't even hesitate to nerf her again like what they did to John the Um And number two is the, is the long as time it takes to obtain her. Um, you cannot use universal sculpture on her. You need to buy her sculpture using Soroli coins, uh, 200 per sculpture. So you need 440 sculpture for expertise. So in total, you will need 88,000 Soroli coins. Uh, for a good free-to-play player, you get about 3,000 to 4.5 thousand every event. So 88,000 over like 4,000 fireness, you will need at least to do 20 events. Uh, which is 40 weeks in order to expertise her. Um, even for someone like myself who can easily do a nightmare difficulty, it would take me 8 to 12 months to max her. Uh, for some of your free to play players out there, you can't even defeat her level yet. So, where do you think you will get all your soul coins to max her? It will take you years to max her. And a year or two from now, there will be new epic commanders. So, why, why wait for her? Uh, number three, uh, let's look at her skill and see if she actually worth it. Um, so let's look at her first skill. We have what an AOE active skill damage can do up to uh, 1000 damage uh, at max level. So 1000 AOE damage for three targets. Look at other legendary, uh, other epic commanders. We have bearers. A thousand damage also, and up to up to five targets, and fifty percent speed uh, march speed reduction. Um, let's look at uh, Kusunoki. Um, three percent or uh, three hundred direct damage factor, and two hundred fifty more damage for every other two seconds. So about eight hundred. AOE damage, not too bad, right? Um, let's look at Sanzu's. 800 damage, up to 5 targets, and additional 200 target for each target after that. And restore rage 50 for each target uh, the active skill damage hit. Like, her first active skill damage is just somewhat average or below average in my opinion. Uh, let's look at her second skill, Barbarian skill. Who cares about Barbarian skills? Um, let's look at her third skill, 10% Archer attack bonus, 10% defense bonus. I mean, let's look at some of other Archer commanders out there. Uh, Kusunoki, 15% defense, 50% uh, attack. Uh, we have uh, Hermans. Um, Archer attack bonus 10%, Archer match speed 10%. Uh, not much different, right? Only 10%. Let's look at some like legendary commander at 5551. Uh, we have Elsit. Archer defend bonus 20%. Archer match speed bonus 15%. So it's not that amazing compared to other epic Archer commander or uh, Golden Key 
legendary commander as 5551. Um, let's look at her fourth skill. So she had 10% chance, 10 chance to increase skill damage up to 80% for 3 seconds. So what do you think? How often a 10% chance uh, skill get activated? And it only lasts for 3 seconds, so it has to be activated a second before you activate your skill in order for it to be effective, otherwise it doesn't do anything. And with only 10% chance, it's not that good. Um, but look at her expertise skill. Um, like her expertise skill is it deal 200 more damages compared to the normal skill. So you get 200 more damage. Like, is she even worth it? Like, she, from in my opinion, she like an average epic commander. Um, and for number four, let's look at other alternative commanders out there uh, who can do the same as her or better. Uh, we have uh, Kusunoki, very good archer commander, AoE damage. We have a Sanzu, also a very versatile commander, work well with any troop type, archer, cavalry, or infantry. Um, we have Hermans, very good archer commander too. Uh, if you want some AoE damage, uh, Berber can also do d uh, damage. Look, a thousand damage for up to five targets. Um, let's look at some other alternative for uh, legendary commanders you can get from Golden Keys. We have if you have LC that five 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 one. Look, twenty percent defense boost, a thousand attack uh, skill attack damage, and one second disable. Why? Like, Look, additional 1,000 uh, damage with 10% chance. So would you rather have a 10% chance to deal 80% more damage or you want a 10% chance to deal 1,000 damage and doesn't have to be dependent on when that skill is activated. Or we can have a Mermeth at 5511. 11, 1,100 damage. 20% attack bonus, 20% skill damage boost, which it works all the time. Like there are so much better alternatives out there instead of her. Uh, number five, let's look at other alternat alternative items you can buy, which can really help you progress as a free-to-play player. Uh, you can get Golden Keys, you can get Chora Mattel, Mermeth, Cow Cow, LC, and Julius Seder. You can also get 60 minutes speed up. Uh, you can get blueprint for your equipments. Uh, unless Lila is going to uh, less uh, use universal epic sculpture on her, or really lower her cost in the shop, do not get care if you're not a f if you're a free to play player. Uh, there are better alternative commander and better item in the shop for you to buy. Thanks for watching. Uh.